Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Bonicle review, and this one's on uh, Onua Nuva and Pohatu Nuva from 2002, of course. So we'll start off with Pohatu Nuva. And although Pohatu Nuva here, well, it's uh, not much different than his original Mato uh, uh, on form, of course. But of course, with silver bits added to him, obviously. Like as for the legs here, which, as you can see, see pretty much some same as all the tall new sets did, but and also same exact boot pieces that the original uh, two thousand one Mata version had, but instead of in tan, is in silver, which is nice to see there. It's also good to have some extra color variety, of course. <coughs> but as for the torso bit, I wish upside down. Also, like the original uh, Tomamata set, did. and the armor piece of which does fit over it in both ways, which good to see used there. And also, it does well hide the rod that holds his gears in place. And then as for the arms of which, as you see, of which kind of the same as the original Mata versions, but with the um, shoulder pieces kind of, or, or shoulder armor pieces kind of put on instead of ball joints for that. And also, instead of having one Technic pin exposed on both sides, instead it's one for that, but it's for the dual action ability, which I'll show later. And also do have these little claw-like pieces which for him came in silver but did come in other colors throughout the set throughout other sets <coughs> and as for his mask piece which as he quite large and long for what it is there's like these few fin bits picturing out sort of like Liwa Nuva's kind of And also how the head is built onto it, kind of a bit similar to the original 2001 Mata version did, but in a different piece added to it. So at least quite good for how it is. And as for the back side, which like all the other lines, the back side fully exposed with no armoring to it. <coughs> And of course, you have the gear on his butt for you to uh, move the leg up and down. And also, like the original one. And as for his so dual action ability, you take the claws off, take those pins off, and attach them together, like so. And there. And he has kind of an extra kicking ball. It was kind of reminiscent of the uh, system stone that he had in his original Mata form. And also, the odd thing to mention is, if you noticed in the Mask of Light movie, he which was built kind of differently, like the uh, body piece was uh, right side up, and the arm pieces were actually made of uh, traditional Toamata leg pieces. Of which these kind of pieces were used for the arms. Which is, now I'm not sure exactly why they did that, but if any of you know why exactly that is, uh, tell in the comments. But yeah, and that's about it with Hotu. And now on to Odua Duba. <coughs> as you can see, which almost as much cool. Although he kind of reminiscent and kind of close to the original Mata versions. But of course, with a little different added bits to him, obviously. So, like, obviously, for the feet or for the legs, 
which is the same build as all the other Toa Nuvas. And of course, with but in both black and dark gray for that. And also, like uh, Kopaka and Gali Nuvas, which have these uh, stud rods on his feet for the dual action ability, which I'll show later. And that's for the uh, body part of which. And that's the. Which does have the head kind of mounted on over the armor bit to still give it the hunch look to it, which Onuas kind of tend to have. And of course, his uh, gear function, uh, nothing exposed for that. So, of course, keeping his hunched over ability to that. <coughs> and as for the arms of which, which are made of mostly a traditional shoulder blade piece, as the other Tolanuva do. And also made of a, a Borok arm piece for the arms, making his arms kind of shorter. Although I think they should have been a little longer, like in the Mask of Light movie, of course. And again, like Pohatu, same piece used in that movie. But yeah. And also, it asks for his weapons, which, which are exclusive just to him. Which are mostly these like chainsaw blades, which well detailed for that. And like the uh, Kopaka Nuva blades, which has three technic holes in them for various connections. So these are which great to use for mocking. And as for his mask, which kind of quite a uh, lot, quite long and thick uh, like the others but at least it which does also have some nice uh, sculpting to it while also quite a bit different than his original Toamata versions but although the 2008 Mystica version was kind of different and same with Generation 2 Uniter version also did when just two versions of him I wish did use the same mask look to them. As for the features, there's one of which is the traditional gear function, as the other Toa do. You can turn it and swivel like so. <coughs> and for his so called dual action ability, is where you can take the saw blades off. And take these uh, rods out. And then just stick them right on through the third hole. Oh, whoops. Actually, it's in a different way. Which, like that. So now, like in his short video, you can like chop up rocks and all while also roller skating. All in the feature, which kind of similar to that of Kopaka Nuva, is a uh, ski bits, and also Gali Nuva's uh, uh, flipper blades, of course. And so now, one thing that I hear, oh, it's kind of odd about him is in the Mask of Light movie. Where he, which is kind of has his neck positioning positioned like all the rest of the Toa sets. And also, his arm pieces are just the traditional Toa Mata like pieces. For that. Uh, if anyone knows why they kind of made him like that, uh, tell them in the comments. But although you could modify him like that if you wanted, but yeah. And so now, on to the final verdict. Now, overall, I think these of which are uh, quite cool sets for a while for the time, but kind of good for how for today. But yeah, at least you get a couple of good functions with both of them, like gear functions and the dual action abilities. Well, although Onua Nuva is kind of a bit repetitive of other three of which, but at least it's kind of an equal amount of 
ones who do so and all. And of course, Paul Hopkins, while keeping the tradition of his original uh, uh, Tom Abbottis form there. Well, at least it's nice to see it carry on as well for just one variant of him. And of course, could still have the uh, leg kicking feature on him, like the original version did, but later versions kind of didn't for that. Oh, also, the uh, little claw like blades, also reminiscent of his uh, helicopter arms in his 2008 Fantoka version, and also Masterpiece, also in his Mystica version that came with uh, uh, Rocco T3, also 2008. Well, yeah. <coughs> the at least the brown also did carry on into his generation two forms, but and of course still workable you know, uh, color schemes and pieces for Mock King, obviously, and also and again and they which still quite good price points that they were at the time for the seven dollars that they were back in two thousand two, uh, still, but even though minus inflation, well, still quite good for how they were. And of course, kind of odd how they were a little different in the, or looked different in the Mask of Light movie, but although you could modify them and uh, look that way anyways, but yeah. And so now, if any of you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to getting these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.